Here is the problem we have today that we're gonna try to fix. I have this Yeti Blue microphone on a boom arm uh, that I use for voiceovers and stuff. Because I have <clears throat> my computer hung on the wall so it's floating, I didn't want to put the boom arm, where the hell is that mount at? I didn't want to mount this. It came with like a desk mount, you know, one of those ones that you clamp to the edge of the desk. I didn't want to mount it back there though because that would kind of ruin the whole like floating thing. So I had mounted it to the back of the monitor mount for a little while, but what kept happening is it really wasn't designed to clamp to something that thin, so when I had the mic arm fully extended, it would slide down uh, and fall, which was irritating. So today, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna mount it to the wall somewhere in here so it's a lot more steady mount and it doesn't fall because that's irritating. So let's get to that. I think there's studs back there. Stud finders, not an exact science. They work pretty good, but if there's wires or if there's other stuff back there, who knows what the hell when they're building the house, what they put back there. I'm getting some weird readings, but what I'm trying to do is find a stud so I can just screw like a piece of a two by four on the wall into the stud so it's got a good secure mount. There should be a stud around there somewhere. Usually there's only a stud every, you know, 16 inches or so. And for some reason I'm getting a bunch of readings. So I don't know if there's something in that wall or, or what. You'll have to excuse the messiness of my garage. I've been kind of busy lately and I haven't had a chance to really come out here and kind of organize things. It's gonna be a project coming up soon is uh, redo the garage. It needs it. Oh, that part's too loud. The next thing, I'm going to drill a couple holes in the wood for the screws that I'm gonna run through into the wall. Because when you're dealing with a narrow piece of wood like this, sometimes if you screw into close to an edge, you'll blow it out and split the wood. So I'm gonna drill a couple holes to uh, keep from splitting the wood out. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do and see what this is gonna do is this is gonna drill into the wall or maybe it's gonna be this way <clears throat> and then I'm gonna drill a hole down into here for the post so this is gonna keep it from rocking this way this is gonna leave me a little channel so I matched up my drill bit with the post of the boom arm um, this one's a 15 30 second if you're making one just match your drill bit up to the post make sure it's about the same size and go with that So, <clears throat> there you go. Two holes for screws, hole on the top for the post. Yeah, I mean, I know it's not the most um, elegant design ever, but trying to do this as easy, as cheap as possible and materials I had on hand, so I didn't have to run up to the store, so. And honestly, this is mostly stuff most people have laying around their house. You know, maybe a spare two by four, a couple screws. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Next, I'm just gonna lightly hit this thing with a little sandpaper just to get the burrs off. I'm going to put a little coat of uh, spray paint on it. Pretty sure there's wood back there. Only one way to know for sure. Let's try to screw into it. And I'm pretty positive I hit wood because the screw drew into the 2 by 4 What I did was, I didn't like it. It, it. it was a little too big, stuck up a little too high, so I could see it from behind the monitor, and it was white, which the boom is, arm is white, so I thought painting it white would make the most sense, but then after I got it up there, the monitor's black, so the white stuck out. 
from behind the black. It was obvious. So what I did is I took it off, took it out, sanded all the white paint off so I could paint it black, and trimmed out as much of the wood as I thought I could, and it remained structurally kind of sound. Uh, and now I'm left with a lot smaller piece. So because and the other piece actually tore up the wall a little bit, so I'm gonna have to patch that and repaint it, which is no big deal. But because I had to mount it above the arm, so the arm could still articulate, which I didn't think about going into it, um, it was sticking up too high and I could see it. Now I can mount it just barely above to where that'll clear. Yeah, see how before that scratch part is where the old piece came up. See how you could see that from up here? I didn't like that. So now that piece is just small enough that it stays down behind the monitor and you can't see it. And once I paint that black, I think it's all gonna just blend in and be just hunky-dory. So I've gotta paint that. I've already sanded it. I've gotta patch the wall. We'll get going again. All right, so got it trimmed down, got it painted, got the wall patched. Got everything done, got it remounted, got the wall painted. <laughs> the kind of stuff you have to deal with when you're kind of flying by the seat of your pants and just fabricating stuff with stuff you have on hand. Um, but turned out I'm pretty happy with the final result. Most people probably have this stuff laying around their house. If not, a small two by four and a couple screws would probably cost you like a few bucks. So I think it's a pretty good way to, if you have a boom arm for your microphone, um, get it up off your desk and out of your way if you've got like wall mounted monitors or even if your monitors aren't wall mounted and you just don't want an additional thing on your desk. But anyway, here's the uh, final result. Wall still drying a little bit because uh, I had to patch it, but ended up being real small. I painted it black. You know, kind of goes right along with the, with the mount there. I mounted it just above the arm on my, my monitor mount so that I have still have full articulation. It doesn't get in the way. From out here, it's completely behind the monitor so it keeps everything nice and floaty looking. Nothing on the desk. And then when I'm not using it, it can just swing up out of the way. Yeah, so I'm pretty happy with that. You gotta get way up here and look over before you even see it. But I think the black worked out a lot better. Blends in a lot more. So overall, pretty happy with that result. Uh, took a little longer to get the result that I would have preferred. Would have liked to have got it right on the first time, but that's how it goes when you're fabricating stuff. You kinda come up with a plan, you see how it works, and then you adjust if you need to. I think it looks pretty good, it was cheap. It should be pretty sturdy because it's made of a two by four, so it should last forever. And uh, yeah, so hopefully if any of you guys have mics, maybe this will help you out. And um, have any questions, just uh, leave me a comment. All right guys. That is kale and baby spinach. It just tastes a little like uh, grass, maybe? Bridge, top shelf. Mine's fuller than yours. Mine was full, I drank it. If green juice tastes good, then it's, <laughs> you, did it you did it wrong. It's not the end of the world.